Next on the agenda... Uh, seems like the old ways are the most reliable after all. Mung, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Ah, uh, my apologies. I'm only about halfway through. Do you really think they will be effective? Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although, it is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. If only we could burn them by the batch. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about the special offer they advertise. <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? Business development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. Then I organized the Wangsheng Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. So now, I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like, buy one get one free for the holder of this tile on them. Ugh. What do they buy and what do they get? A solid and durable second home, of course. Well, they may not need it right away, but they can be sure that when they do, it will still be as good as new. <clears throat> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. That's the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Quality Guarantee. All right, Mung, keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? It is true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. <sighs> You're right. It's unfair. Hmm. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistants. I'll be back with you in a moment. It shouldn't take too long. Paimon already told you we're not your assistants! <sighs> Guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. Let's look around while she's away. You must be the director's new hires. Not us! We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and Hu Tao. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. The director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Her? Tactful? We should get going. Let's go find Hu Tao. Settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. <laughs> I love it. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. 
We want people to feel warm and fuzzy. Uh, but, Director, isn't Lifeless the name of the game in this industry? That's old hat. We're opening up new ground. Why does Wang Xing Funeral Parlor need to open up? Uh, <sighs> yes, Director. Poor guy's given up. Right, we should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. We? <sighs> As in us. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. Stop adding little afterthoughts like that! It creeps people out. <laughs> Just a joke, sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present. For the moment, at least. Uh, lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. <sighs> oh, baseless fantasies. What we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. Oh, more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. You must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. I never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Director, wait. What about Big G? Don't forget. Big G? Who's that? We've been in Lila for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something mung has been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Where are we going? To visit an important potential client. I'll lead the way. Uh, sorry, who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Mmm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often they're an omen of something terminal. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. Why did they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Hyman thinks it's because they're coming from the director of a funeral parlor. And you are. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? 
Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Ugh, another failure. Still, not the end of the world. Paimon's curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? I know your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> if you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. You really don't give up, do you? Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development. Then what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? As it turns out, the Big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost adrift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. Why didn't you say so? Paimon thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, uh, people in declining health. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people, or...? Paimon was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paimon wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. <sighs> well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This Big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. I'm back. <sighs> I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. We've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. 
How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? <sighs> That's why he joined Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty-handed. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, it, sorry, excuse me. Is this Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor? My name's Luo Cheng. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Some of my friends and I went to Wu Wang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon! Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right, and a serious one at that. You believe so, too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end! The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales! Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me! I beg you! I'm too young to die! All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. on the agenda.
rituals are you gonna perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Eh? Wait. You didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. <sighs> now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. Uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a three-year-old. Why would you ask that? Pyron just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth! Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. Makes sense. But why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Do you know the history of the Yaksha? They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was completely eradicated. We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time, we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> so when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real or it would incite panic. Anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This leyline monolith will make for a really great prop. Oh, you're finally here! We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. But don't worry. The traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Will that really solve my problem? Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo, but she's serious about everything she does. <sighs> How can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. Is it really possible to materialize the curse? Into the wind! I'm counting on you! How are you feeling? Did the curse leave your body? Uh, yes. I feel more invigorated than ever before. I'm cured. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the Traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Ah, uh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 da. You've been pranked! Uh, uh, what? 
this exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. <sighs> so riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? The curse wasn't real? Then why was I sick? Were you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick? It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Uh, don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again, so I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. Enjoy it while it lasts. Wow. I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. This is Big G? He's just a child? Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. Let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. Next on the agenda... Huh. After all that's happened, Paimon's not even sure what's going on anymore. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. A few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they'd come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Ah, oh, it must have been poor Lo Chung that you followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Uh, I was discovered? Well, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Yeah, Hu Tao and Meng were searching for you all over the place. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. So, all of this was just because you got lost? Why didn't you just fly, like any other 
Gooster Spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? I... can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. That's right, yes. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living, and with so many people walking around Liyue Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> now, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill, and we should be done and dust to dusted. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mumu, and Songzi. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wuang Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual, then come and find us. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them. Um, that's not a good idea. I don't want to scare them. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low-key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Uh, hi! <laughs> Do you remember us? Oh, you. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor services anytime soon. <sighs> yes, we grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar, but he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all, and he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jueyun chili chicken. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jueyun chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate... Deal! Just... Jueyun chilies are... A Great, this should be enough. I'll get started on the Julian chili chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down? When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Great, see you later! Uh, how did he know about the others? Next on the agenda, we're way behind schedule. Next on the agenda, uh, not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. Come to think of it, I remember he did join Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. 
Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? How did you know? We didn't even say anything! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a businessman. I won't go spilling your secrets. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow, you must be, like, super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for Little Wu and Songza next. Mm-hmm. We already saw Little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. The wind knows me. Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? I make artisan Sao lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Time to go. Into the wind. As I gaze out upon the sea. Hi! Hey, we're here to pick up the plostrite shards for Sansa. I think she mentioned it. Yes, here you are in the register. No problem. The plostrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. They're here. What's what these look like what Sangzo was talking about? Let's head back! Huh. Huh. Follow the wind. nature. The wind knows me. My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, 
Wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well, and that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. Thank you! We'll pass it on! Big G is lucky to have friends like you. We got everything we need! Let's go to Wuong Hill and find Hu Tao and the others! Time to go. Time to go. Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes, so I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. <sighs> Which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility, and I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? Of course not! After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> so listen to everything I say. Let's go. Paimon scared. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. <laughs> Time to go! Next time, be sure to make a proper appointment. Wow! What is this place? Somewhere close to death, but not like the Heller Underworld from the Tales of Old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. So keep your cool. Follow me. The farewell ceremony site is just up ahead. familiar from the right angle you can make out the whole thing oh just like last time
with nature. It's named the border. You can't just cross whenever you please. You need to have a little. How do people normally put it? Pump and ceremony? I'm pretty sure that's not how people put it. Higher, higher, hands on fire! Guild members are good at making order of things. See if you can find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reactions. On your marks. E you talking to us? Thank <laughs> you. 
confusing. Let's have a look around. Or up ahead. where we just were before? Finally! Paima thought we were going to be trapped in that weird place forever! That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. So, that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. Feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. Are you clients? Apologies, this is just a little unexpected. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd, it helps to pass the time. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do, anyway. But if you, too, are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. Are you new here? <laughs> what a coincidence, so am I! I can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. Here I can finally work out a lifetime of emotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I just set my expectations too low. By the way, have you seen Uncle Jean recently? That guy? 
I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ugh. Good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. If you're curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd like to stay here for a while. Phew! Go! Oh! It's the lantern right again! Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Yell it? Isn't that kinda embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in, and nobody feels embarrassed anymore. That's right. Little Wu, you start. All right, I... I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks, so I could enjoy you and chili chicken every day! <laughs> that's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super expensive toy box. Not just one, one for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Well, if Mumu's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, 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 it's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind! And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah! That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. Meng, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? They all disappeared. Right when he was about to make his wish. It brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef, Mumu's a successful businessman, and Tsongzu makes great shell lanterns! Really? Wow. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway... Time to release this lantern. Hey, take a hint. Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. is the same though exactly what I do and how I do it are just minor technicalities as I explained Wangsheng funeral parlor was once upon a time more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor during the Archon War piles of corpses covered the wilderness people were plunged into misery and suffering disease was spreading all over the land death devastated the world of the living such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. 
But in the end, some lunatic stirred up the legacy of the dead. By that I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that, at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. It took a long, long time, longer than you'd think, to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it, Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today, neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. Not a chance. Curiosity can be perilous, you know. Don't forget my warning, the less you know, the better. What you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads, though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that, a funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. We live in peaceful times, but this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. More speed. I think we did everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. So you should also mind my warning, Mung. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. See you later, Big G. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. All right. I'll remember you all. Uh, goodbye. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Well, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the Lantern Rite together. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. So enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh... Thank you? Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuwang Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? 
I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. <sighs> the biggest pity of all is your lack of help! <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. <laughs> I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... Oh, stop saying creepy stuff! <laughs> Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there, not even once. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them, and left them with no regrets. <laughs>